So hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your photo using the Photos app on the iPad to prepare it for our project. I already have my photo uploaded and saved to the Photos app. If you don't yet, please make sure that you get your photo. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Photos app and open it up and you can see that I have many options of my reference photos saved here. I'm going to be drawing Frida Kahlo and I think the one that I want to draw is this one here. I really like her expression that she has. So there's a few things I need to do to prepare this image before I can start to draw. So the first thing I need to do is I need to translate this color image into black and white, and I actually do need to crop it. As you can see, this image is a square image, and I'm gonna be using rectangular paper that is nine inches by 12 inches. So I need to make sure that my photo is in the same proportion. So once you have your photo open, again, you should have submitted for approval. The first thing you're gonna do is you're actually gonna click on this icon up at the top if i pull this down do you see that little box with the arrow pointing up you're going to click on that it's going to bring up this selection here and if i scroll down do you see where it says duplicate i want you to go ahead and duplicate this photo if i go back to the camera roll you can see it's added the same photo at the end of my camera roll i don't want to work on the original i want to save that the way it is so i'm going to click on this one and i'm going to use this one for my edits Next, I'm going to want to crop. So if I go up to the top, do you see how it says we've got the box with the arrow, a heart, a trash can, and edit? Click on edit, and it's gonna shrink this down and give me options on both sides. We're gonna use these options on the side in just a minute, but first, if I go over, if I describe these options, we have a circle with dots, we have three dots sort of overlapping, and then we have these like this like little square box situation. That's the crop tool. So if I click on the crop tool, it's gonna to change what I have access to. And the first thing I wanna do, so I wanna look back up at the top. Here I have cancel, I've got these like triangles and arrows and I've got a square and arrows. Skip all that, skip auto, and actually come over here where it has those like rectangles inside of each other. Click on that. If I come down here, you're gonna see all the way at the bottom, we have all these different options that popped up. Because we're using nine by 12 paper, our drawing paper is nine inches by 12 inches. We're gonna need the ratio that says four by three or three by four. Click on that. And then you're gonna see it sort of cropped this in, but it made it um, landscape, didn't it? It made it so it was sort of cutting off her head. I don't like that, I don't want that. I want it to be vertical, right, a portrait. So if I come down here, you see how this has a check off on the horizontal one? You're gonna click on the other one and it should change it and open it up. You can slide this around a little bit to get the right proportions. I'm gonna be here because I want a little bit of space up top. I wanna see the shadow, but I wanna give some more space over there. When you're happy with how it's cropped and you have the right proportions, three by four, you're gonna go back over to this side and you're gonna click on the, the circle with the little dots around it that's at the very top. That's gonna bring us back to these settings. And if you click, if you tap and hold and slide, you can see all these settings. You wanna scroll down to where you see the one that says saturation. And that's gonna be one with all the colors. There's actually two right beside each other that have lots of colors. We have saturation and then we have vibrance. Click on saturation and then pull that down and you're gonna see all the color is gonna go away. If I slide that all the way back up, you can see that it's made all my colors it's more saturated, right? More vibrant. If I really, if I pull this all the way down, I want it to be at negative 100, no color whatsoever. Once I have that, I'm gonna slide these back up top. I'm looking for one that says contrast now. So if I click, I have exposure, brilliance, highlights, shadows, contrast. Now, if I play with contrast, so I slide this around, you can see if I pull it all the way down, everything gets really gray and boring. If I pull this all the way up, it gets super, super dark, right? My darks are darker, my lights are lighter. I want to, you know, make my values a little bit more pumped up, but I don't want to go all the way to the dark side. So I'm going to take that slider, find the middle again, and then I'm going to slide it a little bit, and I'm going to look at some of the things that are happening in my picture. I want to, I want all my ones, my twos, my threes, my fours, and my fives, but I just, this is a little bit gray. I want to pump it up just a little bit. If I want to see what the original looks like, I can tap, right, but that is in color, and then it'll all revert back. Once I'm happy with this, I'm going to go up to the top, hit done, and then I have my new picture. If I tap, it'll get rid of the sidebars, and I can see that. 
okay? At this point, I want you to make sure that it's saved, which is what I just did. And then I'm gonna go over to Schoology and ask you to go ahead and submit this as well. All right, so that's how to edit your photo and prepare it for our drawing. I hope that helps.